Instant gratification. It has been around since the beginning of humanity, but it really started to evolve as a problem in the last two to three generations. But why is that? From an evolutionary standpoint, previous generations had a completely different drive since they had absolutely nothing. They had to build houses, save money and work their face off to make a living. Compared to the generations nowadays, the baby boomers and the slackers included, growing up in a period of an economic boom and a world filled with technology more than ever before. We didn't have to worry about building houses or what's going to happen in the future. Not only do we worry little, but we grow up in a world of material abundance. We grow up with the mindset that we can always be rewarded with the latest cell phone, branded clothing and all those other things that releases dopamine in our brains without even taking us any effort. Now let's look at an example. Imagine yourself chilling on a couch, scrolling through social media as usual. Suddenly, you come across a video about someone working out and having an extremely good looking body. You decide, oh, I wanna look like this too. So you get up, take on sports clothes and start working out. The idea of looking like this guy in the video sounded amazing. What turned out to be far less amazing is working out day after day after day without seeing results and still not looking like this guy in the video. Video. One day, after weeks or even a month of working out, still looking the same, you're heading home from workout with sore muscles and a bruised ego. Your brain comes up with thoughts like, oh, I'm never going to look like this, this is just not meant for me. So you fall back into your old habits and routines. You stop working out, you eat unhealthy food again, you spend hours on social media platforms, you go out drinking alcohol and doing drugs every weekend, and you do all the other things that releases dopamine in your brain to give you that feeling of happiness through instant satisfaction. Now the terrifying consequences as a result of those massive hits of dopamine through engagement in social media, junk food, porn, alcohol, drugs or any other source of instant gratification is that we're having an entire generation with lower self-esteem than previous generations. So how can we actually break free from this downward spiral? Well, if you compare the things that you don't really like to do to things that you really enjoy doing, you might notice that most of the time, the things that you really enjoy doing are the results of successfully and consistently accomplishing the things that you don't really like to do. So the ability to delay gratification while focusing on a long-term goal brings back around success. If you're working out consistently for months, you're going to be rewarded with the good looking and healthy body. When you're working on your business day after day without seeing results, you're going to be rewarded with a financial free life later down the line. Or when you're cooking instead of ordering fast food every day, you're again going to be rewarded with the healthy body and money and saving. So to delay gratification, we need to focus more on the process of success than success itself. And I'm talking about the unsexy, ungratified and boring tasks that are required to get us where we really want to go. For marketers like myself, this could include analyzing campaigns to see what we did right and wrong, which for the fun part is going to get us the most out of the campaigns for our clients, which brings back around more money, right? Or watch any NFL post-game conference and you might notice the winning quarterback creating endless hours in the film room analyzing the defense he just defeated. So now that we're talking about delaying gratification, I'm going to bring up a very famous study known as the Marshmallow Test. This study, conducted in the 1960s on hundreds of children, unfolds a very interesting phenomenon. The researchers presented the children with a single marshmallow, offering them a choice. Either they consume instantly or they show patience and leave it on the table for a period, say 20 or 30 minutes, and be rewarded with a second marshmallow. So essentially the children were granted the option to delay gratification to to get double the reward or embrace instant satisfaction and just indulge immediately without delay. And this is where it's getting really interesting. The researchers did extensive follow-up on these children over the following 30 or 40 years of their life. Virtually all the children that were able to delay gratification demonstrated more success in all areas of their life. They enjoyed greater financial prosperity, they were healthier, they showed less substance abuse and overall their participation in society was just more wholesome. The correlation between delaying gratification and success was clear. It became painful evident that the ability to delay immediate satisfaction served as a reliable contributor to eventual success, right? So what should we do? Well, with these insights, the key to more success comes down to a single concept delaying gratification. At this point of the video, I hope you understand how important it is not to give in to those quick hits of dopamine through immediate pleasure. Instead, to put in effort on things that really matter, that give you that long-term satisfaction, like actually going out and hanging out with your friends and not just having Facebook and Instagram friends because 
those are not real friends. I mean, like actually going out and hanging out with your friends to get that deep sense of fulfilledness and deep relationships. This principle applies across almost every aspect of life. Just think about entrepreneurship where working hard and hustling every day means fulfilling rewards later down the line. Or like our previous example, working out or hitting the gym. Sure, sweating it out might not feel as comfortable as laying on the couch with potato chips, but the rewards are a physique that you're proud of and a healthier, happier you. If you're skeptical about all of this, just look around. How many successful people do you know that spend the majority of their days on social media platforms, TikTok or gaming nonstop? Probably not many. Success almost always comes to those people who, like Patrick Bet David says, are aggressively patient. Which means on one side working your face off, while on the other side being extremely patient for bigger and better things to come. So be patient, accept the weight and watch how it's going to transform your world. How will training your brain to be weak and lazy pave the way for success? Like it's so crystal clear, it's almost painfully like it's not. Success demands sweat and unwavering commitment. And this is where the need of sacrificing those instant satisfactions comes in. You need to build more positive habits to get rid of those automatic and subconscious behaviors and habits. Perhaps making checking your phone the first thing in the morning isn't the wisest choice. Once you've accumulated a good amount of these positive habits, they'll become a lifestyle and a shift happens. Those previous behaviors and habits that you used to do before start losing their attractiveness and they just won't feel right and there's going to be a little bit of a guilty feeling because they just um, don't align with your with your lifestyle and with your personality anymore. This transformation is going to lead you down the line to success and a better version of yourself. Now, if you're serious about this and you really want to become the best version of yourself, check this video out where I share my top five behaviors and habits that help me to reach my maximum of potential. Now, if you're still watching this video, it probably means that you're really enjoying it. Since these type of videos take an immense amount of editing, research, filming and overall work, I'd highly appreciate you leaving a comment um, telling me your feedback and if you're interested in content like this telling me which topics i should dive into next with that being said thank you so much guys and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>